Electric vehicles use a large battery pack to power the electric motor and must be charged by plugging into electric vehicle supply equipment. Electric vehicle supply equipment is a wall-mounted box that supplies electric energy for the recharging of electric vehicle batteries. Let us understand the functions of electric vehicle supply equipment or the electric vehicle charging station. There are two different types of electric vehicle charging stations, AC and DC. It's important to keep in mind that power from the grid is always AC and electric vehicle batteries only accept DC power. That means that at some stage, the current must be converted. The difference between AC and DC charging stations is whether that power converter is located on board or off board the vehicle. AC delivers alternating current to an AC DC converter on board the vehicle. DC charging stations convert AC before it reaches the vehicle instead delivering direct current directly to the battery of an electric vehicle. With DC charging, the converter can be significantly larger due to the fact that it is located off-board the vehicle. Because the current is already converted to DC by the time it reaches the vehicle, it is possible to deliver more power, faster. As a result of this different charging technique, DC stations can provide up to 350 kilowatts of power and fully charge an electric vehicle in 15 minutes, providing the EV allows it. Due to their fast charging abilities, DC fast chargers are ideal for short stop locations, fleet vehicle charging, and are beneficial for passenger vehicles as well as buses and trucks. There are a variety of AC, DC, electric vehicle connectors, such as Chamo, Combined Charging System, GT, B27930R in use and electric vehicle supply equipment charging station has to be designed to incorporate the relevant protocols. This is important because the battery charger system inside an electric vehicle may be equipped with any of these standards and the charging station has to be prepared to cater to the protocol. Risks like voltage fluctuation Ground fault and overcurrent pose potential threats for both the battery charging station as well as the electric vehicle being charged. A sudden spike in voltage may end up damaging some very expensive components. The electric vehicle supply equipment enhances safety by enabling two-way communication between the charging station and the electric vehicle. Also electric vehicle supply equipment have a safety lockout feature that does not allow current to flow from the device until the plug is physically inserted into the car. Also the current passed to the vehicle is both below the limits of the EVs and below the limits of what the car can receive. In order to achieve interoperability between the central system and charging station, open charge point protocol is used. And between charging station and electric vehicle. The standards like ISO 15118 and IEC 61851 exists. They specify the charging communication and ensure correct data exchange before and during the actual charging process. The Open Charge Point Protocol describes 16 functional blocks with one or more use cases in each of them. The table lists minimal set of messages that are implemented in charging station. Booting, configuring and resetting of the charging station functionalities depicts the functionalities that assistance a charging point operator for arrangement of their charging stations, enabling them to validate certifications and recover setup data from these charging stations over a system. Also, it comprises of the capacity to make changes to the charging system configuration, as well. Authorization using RFID, start button and PIN code are mandatory for the basic implementation. Transactions can be started or stopped on the charging station with only one active transaction on an electric vehicle supply equipment, at a time. Availability functional block indicates how the charging station can educate the central system of its present accessibility for beginning new exchanges. It is vital to know whether a charging station is accessible for electric vehicles to be charged, with the goal that they can advise electric vehicle drivers whether the charging station is accessible for use. Sending transaction related metering functional block describes the functionality that enables a charging station to send periodic, possibly clock aligned meter values.
ISO 15118 standard called Road Vehicles, Vehicle to Grid Communication Interface, consists of eight parts. It can be seen how each part of ISO 15118 is related to one or more of the seven layers of communication that define how information is processed in a telecommunications network. The physical and data link layer specify how the electric vehicle and charging station can exchange messages using either a power line communication as described in ISO 15118-3 or a Wi-Fi connection as referenced by ISO 15118-8 as a physical medium. Once the data link is properly set up, the network and transport layer above can rely on it to establish TCP IP connection to properly route the messages from the electric vehicle to the charging station and back. The application layer on top uses the established communication path to exchange any use case related message, be it for AC charging, DC charging, or wireless charging. These have charging standards make sure that all the criteria of safe charging are fulfilled before the charging is initiated. They also monitor the vital parameters while the vehicle is being charged. This figure shows high-level block diagram for an AC charging station, where the AC charging station feeds the AC power from the grid directly into the electric vehicle. A current and voltage monitoring subsystem monitors the power transferred to the vehicle. An AC power relay makes or breaks the connection with the EV based on the discretion of the host controller. The vehicle interface front end controls the pilot signal coming out of the connector. This signal serves as a handshake between the electric vehicle and charging station. It enables negotiation with the electric vehicle for power status, available power and charge state. The charger will include an AC-DC converter that provides the auxiliary supply necessary to power up various other components in these systems. As a system controller, a host microcontroller typically manages all services. A vehicle communication module can include interfaces like controller area network, RS-485 and Ethernet to communicate with the electric vehicle as well as the charging station network. Charging stations also include a human-machine interface to improve the user experience with the charging station by providing visual status updates. The main difference between AC charging stations and DC charging stations is the existence of the power factor correction and DC to DC power stage. The power factor correction stage ensures that the input current is in phase with the grid voltage, thus improving the grid's overall power factor. Typically, a multi-level AC to DC stage takes the polyphase AC from the grid and converts that to high voltage DC. A second DC to DC stage can generate the stable DC for transfer to the EV, which bypasses the onboard charger power stage. We will see a great surge in demand for public chargers in the coming years, eased by convenience as well as shorter charging times at a lower cost in the future. Please support by subscribing to our channel and sharing with your friends.